to uh, think I've got to try and remember everything yeah. because you'll get a copy of this yeah. okay so you're um, you're building up to do a half this year you've done a couple of halves before yeah. you're doing an Ironman next year yeah. um, and he's one of them want to improve yeah you've never had any formal swim training you say really no okay all right so everything that we've got is yourself taught effectively yeah. yeah okay have you had any stroke correction work at all or have you ever been filmed before no okay all right so this is completely the first time yeah. all right okay um, what do you think or do you read any um, magazines or websites or anything like that about how to improve your stroke no, I've been online mm -hmm. and to be honest only a couple of times because it can be contradictory sometimes. Yeah, yeah can yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and what is there anything that particularly that you've you've read or you've been trying to practice or anything like that? Well, my understanding is the first thing is body position. Yep. Getting the body position right. Okay. And and then there's different stages of the stroke. Yeah. Uh, that I'm not entirely sure what they are, but okay. Catch and pull. are yep. Two stages of the stroke that I'm aware of. Yeah. What do you think? Do you, are you aware, what do you think is the main thing that you need to improve on? Uh, I, I would say probably body position, mm -hmm. my head sort of goes, varies yeah. in position, tends to, yeah. I, notice, I notice my head's in a different position when I swim, sometimes I, I lose concentration, I switch off, mm -hmm. particularly when I'm swimming okay. sort of a longer distance, yeah. Okay, all right. I think um, body position is certainly one of the things that we look at. Yeah. We, we, we're looking at two simple things really yeah what 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 we need to do to improve propulsion and what we need to do to reduce drag yeah it's as simple as that Those are, they're the two things that we need okay. to work on all right and for most people when they are newer it's gonna I think what we'll do that's all right John we're just gonna move over there okay. because we're a bit close <laughs> Hannah's gonna do a time trial now so she might cover us in water I don't want to get to, <laughs> I don't want to get drenched with the computer and everything so, um, so for most people who are improvers like yourself, as in haven't you know are not a, re, a like a good level already, you're trying yeah. to get up there. Um, most of the time, it's it's normally down to drag is that is that is the yeah. thing that's stopping you progressing as well as you could do. All right, so we'll have a look at that and so we'll play it through. And we'll, but effectively, what I do is I, I talk, I say what I see as we go through it. Yeah. Okay. So the first uh, the first angle we use is um, kind of standard poolside view. Um, so it's like coach's eye, if you like. That's the view that I see all the time, day in, day out. It's the most forgiving view, yeah. <laughs> um, because you can't see a huge amount. But what we look at from this angle is things like the recovery of the arm over the water. And what's really nice here, we've got a nice high elbow. The arm swings. I can't quite see if it's coming around the side or underneath there, but it's yeah. coming. It's overtaking the, the elbow at the correct time. Yeah. And then what we're doing here is a bit of a problem, which we'll have to sort out. You're overextending. See our hand is coming right, your arm and your hand hasn't touched the water yet, but you've extended right out. Yeah. And then you'll come down into the water together. Yeah. Okay. So if I show you an animation, I use this animation quite a lot because it's quite, it's quite nice just to be able to, um, to break it right down. So this is the guy recovering, same as you. In fact, yeah. we'll, do the, we'll do the other side. We'll do this side so it's almost yeah. closer to us. So there's the high elbow that we had yeah. before with you. Yeah. Now what you're doing, what, what he does is he extends forward, uh, but he spears in. See, at that point, you were, you was, the whole arm was hovering above the water, yeah. 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 So spears in. And yeah. actually, if you see the depth that he spears into, oops, So he spears into that kind of depth. So, you know, a good 10 inches below the water. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then that, he goes from there and starts the catch. The elbow stays high and the hand drops. And then this whole area here becomes the paddle. Yeah. Which then pushes all the way back through the stroke and generates the propulsion. Yeah. Okay, so that's how the stroke is kind of constructed on that side. Yeah. So, We'll have a look at the right hand side. Now the next thing I'm also looking at, look at a few things simultaneously really, but the next thing I'm looking at really is, is the head position. Yeah. Your head is a little high. Yeah, yeah. Compared to that animation, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So ideally you'd be one goggle in the water, one goggle out. 
Yeah. And again, just for visualisation purposes. That kind yeah. of position there. Yeah. Okay, one goggle in, one goggle out. And what that does is it forms, it allows a bow wave to form around the top of the head. So the water's high there, and it actually drops down below the surface of the water. Yeah. Um, if you think like a bow wave on a shop, ship, it goes up high, and then it actually drops down below the surface of the water. Up. And that's the actual gap that you can breathe into. Yeah. So keeping your head down low yeah. allows you to keep your head down yeah. low. Yeah, yeah, with you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Carl's just taking a couple of photos, if, yeah. if that's okay, I'll, that's I'll, right, yeah. I'll tell you what they're about in a second. Um, so we need to have a look at the head position because what lifting the head does is it makes the legs drop. Anything at the front end, okay. your body is like a seesaw, so if you lift the head up or the chest up, it causes the back end of the body to drop, yeah, and then sense. that's going to be your drag. Yeah. Okay, we'll have a look under the water now. Now, what you're also doing there is you've got a big open mouth, yeah. which I suspect you're probably holding your breath a little bit. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, normally a, is a kind of a gasp. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll have a look underneath the water of that in a second. So, and the reason I mention that is because, as with any sport, breathing is central to what the timing and how you feel and the kind of getting enough air in and everything. It's really important that you get the breathing right, particularly from swimming, the timing gets thrown out. So what I mean by that is you're still breathing there and the hand is overtaking the head. So it's all a little bit, it's all a little bit kind of, the hand is almost overtaking the head and then the head is going in rather than taking a breath and then the head and the arm coming around together and that hand is coming over the top and you kind of get bent out of shape because of that. Yeah, maybe, yeah. So we have to have a look at the breathing because it's, it, it's a double whammy really. So it affects the timing of the stroke and it physically will make you lift your head up yeah. and make the legs drop. So let's have a look at that right arm while we're on this side here. Well, the right arm is affected a little bit by your breathing, but you've got a nice high elbow there. It's a kind of similar-ish thing. You're spearing a little bit better on this side. There's that long arm on the left. Now, this side, you're not going to breathe. So let's have a look at the stroke when you don't breathe. Yeah, it's quite similar, but it generally comes in together the whole of the upper upper arm, the hand there. Yeah. Okay, let's dip under the water here. Okay. So, the first thing I see, and you probably see it yourself as well, is your body position. It's not too bad at this point, but you can see where your line, if you drew a line right the way through your centre center of your body there, and in relation to the, the lane ropes, which is obviously horizontal, yeah. there's quite a big change there. Yeah. All right. So what you're doing is you're, you're creating drag with your body down, through, down in the water there. Yeah. Now, one thing which is a big one, and we'll do some demonstrations on this, is your feet. Yeah. They're like what we call sea anchors. <laughs> All right. Because they're both pointing downwards. Yeah. It's, the amount of drag that causes is huge. And I'll do a demonstration with you. You would not believe it. Yeah. Okay. Now, anything like that is going to pull you back. It's going to literally be sucking you back in the water. Yeah. And that is definitely going to make the back end drop. Yeah. Okay. So if we have a look at your kick in general. Come on. There's not much of a kick there, really. No. It's just kind of has a little bit of a... A wobble. <laughs> you yeah. kick a little bit like me, actually. I don't kick. Now we don't. You don't need to be a big kicker, really, especially as a triathlete. Yeah. Your kick is more about balancing up the stroke and giving you a bit of rhythm yeah. than it is propulsion. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not an advocate of people doing loads and loads of lengths with the kickboard, going up and down, trying to improve their kick. Yeah. For triathletes, you don't need it. And actually, if you look at this other animation here. 
the triathlete kind of style of stroke, if you like. If you look at her kick, it's not too dissimilar to yours, but it's a bit more positive. Yeah. Okay. So, but she's got her toes pointed. Okay. <laughs> now, just take it back a second. There are we. All the way back here. So we do need to get you um, pointing your toes yeah. and knowing how you should kick. Yeah. We need to do a little bit more with the kick. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do some um, kicking drills. We'll do what we call the ballerina drill, which is like a static drill. And we'll do some uh, work, work with fins on. Have yeah. you some with fins before? Yeah. Okay, you'll love it because you absolutely fly <laughs> fins on. Yeah. So we'll do a little bit of kick work because that will give you propulsion a little bit. Yeah. It'll stop the drag from the back end and it will also help lift the body up. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm just going to have a look at the breathing to see if you are holding your breath. Yeah, I can see you're holding your breath already. So just play this through. You're going to breathe here. And what happens when you breathe for too long is this lead arm starts to just sink down. It's not really getting hold of the water, it's more just kind of drifting. Yeah. If that makes sense. So you've taken a breath. Now I'm looking for when you breathe out. And there's nothing there, nothing there at all. So you're holding your breath, it's really important that we breathe out. We'll have a look on the way back, but I suspect what you're doing is when you, in fact, we'll have a look now. See, I could swear I was breathing out. So, yeah, so you hold it. You actually hold it for the first half. I think I breathe out before I come up to breathe. Yeah, yes, that's, that's, that's what usually happens. So you're yeah. holding your breath there, look. Yeah. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. And then you're thinking you're... Gonna drown it. <laughs> so you're starting to breathe out there. There's a fair amount coming out, to be honest. But just see, what happens is you breathe, breathe, breathe. And then as you turn to breathe, you actually get the rest out. Because yeah. what we want to be doing is making sure that's gone by the time you turn to breathe. Because what you're actually doing is you're turning, you're breathing out, and you're breathing in. Okay, yeah. So you spend too long on your side, yeah. and that's kind of, you start to, uh, the lead arm starts to drop, and you start to over-rotate, and you lose momentum. So it's got to be a breath in, breathe out, yeah. and then when you breathe in, breathe in, there's nothing else, you're just breathing in, and it's a quick breath and back in. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do some breathing drills, which include um, sink downs, which is a bit of a, well, it's a, kind of a static drill, if you like, where you just get used to breathing out in the deep end of the pool. And if you exhale, fully exhale, you should sink to the bottom, because the only thing that's keeping you on the surface is the air in your lungs. Okay. So we just do some exercise and it just gets you used to fully exhaling all of that air. We're going to do some kick work, like I say, particularly with the fins on. And then that's going to allow us to do some nice, easy, relaxed lengths with the fins on, where you work on breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. So that will tidy up your kick and it will tidy up your breathing. Those two things will help get your legs up. Yeah. give you a bit of extra propulsion. The breathing will help the timing of your stroke uh, and will stop you lifting your head up so much. Yeah. So there's two things there which are going to help your body just change position a little bit. Yeah. So it's not all about improving your catch. Yeah. It's not all about, you've got to, there's things that come before that. Yeah. Yeah. Does that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let's just play it through and see what else we've got. I want, do want to have a look at the catch now because what I can see here is and again this is the arm this is the this is the non-breathing arm if you like because you're breathing away from this now yeah. and this is where it just kind of drifts because you're spending so long breathing now if i show you rebecca adlington what a, what a what a really positive catch looks like
So, so she actually engages the hand, starts to push down from the fingertips, engages the wrist, the elbow stays high, and then ends up with this vertical paddle, yeah. similar to the animation that I showed you. And then that gets pushed all the way back. It's the same with this side. And you can just see the forearm goes like this. Yeah. Whereas if you sell, it just kind of drifts. Yeah. It just kind of it just kind of drifts down. Not quite as positive catch as it is as it is on uh, with Rebecca Adlington yeah. there, as you'd expect. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you were like Rebecca Adlington now, then yeah. we would you probably wouldn't be yeah. here. In fairness, oh, would yeah. you? Yeah. True. So and and then the right hand side again, it just kind of drifts down. There's no kind of extension with the elbow high and getting that catch. This is one of the most difficult and important maneuvers in swimming, yeah. is that hand coming in and pressing down at the front and then push back. Yeah. It's just kind of straight and, and kind of a little bit weak. You don't get the propulsion that you, you should. That's all really there is at the moment. The main thing really is breathing, head position, and getting you to uh, point your toes and keep the legs a little bit. If you can sort those three out things yeah. out, yeah. it's really going to change the way you move. Yeah. And then I think the next stage, what I normally recommend to people is you kind of give it six or eight weeks of practicing the things that we give you, yeah. and then we'd come back and do the next stage, which would be the um, kind of tidying up tuning up the kind of propulsive elements yeah. of the stroke, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. All right, so that's what we're going to do okay. now. Yeah. You understand all that? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. I think it's probably easier to put right than, easier said <laughs> than yeah, done yeah. to put right. Yeah, yeah. no, it's all going to be... It makes perfect it's all, sense. It's yeah. all going to be all going to be fine. I can see the way you move. You move nicely, um, and you're swimming pretty well already, but we just need to uh, just need to get to make these basic changes that I just yeah. said to you, and it will make a, make a world of difference yeah. to you. All right, so let me just switch this off.